Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the show us your sheet load feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what I got in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what came in my P.O. box for the month. These will sometimes be sheet load cards. These will sometimes be just because cards. And because my birthday was recent, I even have some birthday cards to share with you today. Now, if you're ever interested in either just sending me a card just because or a sheet load for this end of the month feature, my P.O. box is at the very bottom of the description box below. And if you want to show us your sheet load online, you can do that here on YouTube or over on Instagram. And I have a video with all of those guidelines in that description box. Now this month's video is a little bit different. Normally I do one month at a time, but because the end of my March ended just a little bit yucky, I did not get to March's mail. So today you'll see cards and mail from March and April. And tomorrow, don't forget, I'll be back with the newest sheet load of cards. I'm super excited to share this sketch with you and give you a look at the newest box of the month from Not Too Shabby. Let's go ahead and see what came these past two months. The first card today is from Amalia M. of New York, and she sent my family and I this adorable Easter card. Thank you, Amalia. I received another Easter card from Beth B. of Indiana. I just love that little bunny tail on there. Both Beth and Amalia are members of my Sheetload of Cards collaboration team, so make sure when they share their cards on the second, you check them out. And speaking of collaboration team members, Lisa S. of California is also one of them. She is at Scrapbook Girl over on Instagram, and she sent me this adorable card for my birthday. Thank you, Lisa. Sherry P. from Missouri helped keep the celebration going with her adorable birthday card. I love the sparkles on those gems and the cute bird. Thank you, Sherry. I received a few pieces of mail from Karen C. of Virginia this month. In the first envelope were these three examples at the top using past sheet loads of cards, as well as a card for me at the bottom with a nice note. This next beautiful card came solo and it was a thank you note for I had been helping her out a little bit with starting her channel. Her channel is called Karen's Crafting Company. I will link it in the description box below. And if you didn't see my sister and I and Karen in the last Oh So Inspired, I will link that as well. And her final package for the month includes all that you see in front of you now. She included three cards that use various April sheet loads of cards, including the one on the left that uses my new stamp set. There was also this gorgeous birthday card for me. I love that floral and the mini slimline size. And then inside of that fabric gift bag, you will not believe it. She definitely knows my heart and knows that I love Hamilton, which if you have seen in my craft room in any of my live videos or pictures, you know that it is decorated with Hamilton posters and goodies. So I think I definitely have a place for this wall hanging. And I had started collecting some of the pop figures, and I think this has inspired me to work on getting more and maybe having a display shelf of those. And finally, the Hamilton's colored pencils, which if you look closely here and you know Hamilton, you might giggle at some of the color names as well. 
Thank you so, so, so much, Karen, for your thoughtful gift. I love each and every item. Judy P. of New York sent in a March sample, and I am loving the fun aquatic theme of this. Thank you, Judy. Nikki H. of California sent me this adorable Easter card, which is fashioned after the April 2022 sheet load of cards. Thank you, Nikki. Janet C. of Illinois used the March 2022 sheet load for her card. I love how she has turned it on its side and all of the layers she used to decorate the card. Thank you, Janet. Connie K. of Minnesota sent in this adorable card using the March 2022 sheet load. She said she has been making sheet loads for a while, but this is the first time that she has sent in a card. I'm so glad you decided to do that, Connie. Thank you. Also take note of her decorated envelope because decorated envelopes seem to be a theme this month, so keep your eye out. I received two thank you card examples from Christina M. of Illinois. On the left, she used March 2022, and on the right, she used April 2022. Thank you, Christina. Jessica N. of Florida sent in two cards this month. They both used the April 2022 edition, and if you look at the little flag on the left card and the circle on the right, those elements actually help keep the card closed. That is such a unique tip there. Thank you, Jessica, for your cards. This next card also came from Jessica. Once again, she used the April 2022 sheet load of cards, and you'll see over on the left there is a decorated envelope to match. I spy another decorated envelope. This one came from Sharon M. of Indiana. She used a couple flowers there on the back flap of her envelope, and it goes with this matching card that uses the February 2020 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much, Sharon. Tammy P. from Pennsylvania sent in three envelopes this month. Over on the left is that adorable St. Patrick's Day card. In the middle is an Owlsome card using March 2022. And over on the right is an Easter card using April 2022. Thank you so much, Tammy. Carmen B. of Colorado sent in two cards this month. On the left is March 2022 and on the right is April 2022. She does have a YouTube channel here where she shared how she made those. Her channel is Choose Joy with Carmen and I will link that below. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin also sent in two cards. On the left is the March 2022 sheet load of cards. And on the right, she sent me this adorable kind of aquatic themed birthday card. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Apparently, Sharon M. from Indiana sent in more than the card and envelope that I already showed because now I notice that these next two cards are from her as well. Again, on the left is March 2022 and on the right is April, which she has rotated so it's a portrait orientation. Both cards have those gorgeous coordinating envelopes. Thanks again, Sharon. Charlotte B. of Texas has once again blessed me with some of her beautiful artwork. She sent in two cards this month. The one on the left, she has used an upcycled grocery bag for the card base, and she did some water coloring on there. And then over on the right, this is a hand-painted goose that she was inspired to paint when she was out at a local park. I am going to share her note on the inside just so you can read about her inspiration behind this. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Lori K. from Minnesota has shared seven beautiful cards with us the past couple months. On the top are four cards using the March 2022 sheet load of cards, and on the bottom are various other sheet loads. Thank you, Lori. Trish D, aka my crafty Irish friend, has also shared seven cards. 
On the top left, those three cards were inspired by the March 2022 sheet load of cards. The ones over to the right and bottom right were inspired by different sheet loads. And then on that bottom left, she has sent me this fun postcard, which will go up with all of my others. Now, one thing she has done is use the sheet loads as inspiration and turn them into sizes that will fit her papers over in Ireland. Thanks so much, Trish. Marta G of Puerto Rico has sent in four cards. On the right was a card inspired by March 2022 with just a beautiful touching note inside. Over on the left, she has created three cards using the April 2022 sheet load of cards. And once again, there's a little decoration on each of those envelopes. And last, but certainly not least, was a package from Joan in Denmark. In the center was a cute little card with a note to me. And then she has shared with us eight cards inspired by the March 2022 sheet load of cards. She has also used the basic layout and adjusted it to fit her paper sizes. And look at those envelopes. Once again, they were all decorated. Thank you so much, Joan. I hope you enjoyed getting to see all of those lovely cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. And I want to say a special thank you to everyone who took the time to send something to me over the past couple months. You know, I always love to see what you create and I appreciate each and every one of your cards, notes, and thank you especially to Karen for my wonderful birthday gift. It definitely kept that party going for me. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.